It was through a Craigslist posting for vinyl that I came to the billboard. There was an offer of material for artists posted by Peter Schulberg of Echo Art Gallery. He related hearing a loud noise as new advertising went up on a billboard adjacent to the gallery, and the old came thundering down. He began salvaging the used advertising and offering the vinyl to artists for painting. I had had an old assumption of paper pasted layer over layer, when in fact, pounds and pounds of plastic were printed and then were headed for landfill to pile up recording every new film, car, or record album ad campaign. So I was delighted when I had this chance to recycle a few square feet. The curtain of vinyl hung suspended in the gallery, and I just went over the white expanse with both hands clutching brushes. The initial excitement was enormous. The first day I worked 13 hours straight. In fact, after a short sleep, I was back at it for another dozen. I was going up that rolling ladder in a frenzy. A week later, when I was done, I looked down to see how black and blue my hips were from throwing myself up those stairs. I had been drawing in Las Vegas and working on some large drawings on old poker table felt coverings. Then, in L.A., driving down Pico, I saw a billboard for a casino. Huge, woman in red, and I knew... That would be my billboard, the expanded view, a man at the table, surrounded by the dealer, always ready to turn over the next card, the cocktail waitress, always ready to deliver the next drink or the next promise, and of course, the security, the enforcers. But I worked the way I would a painting in the studio, changing things around, altering space, so when I stopped painting on the vinyl, I was amused to think that I could have continued for weeks doing things which naturally could not have been seen down on the street, and certainly not from a car driving by at 30 miles an hour. It was a lark to lay down acrylic paint. The color was flat, but it never kept you waiting, watching paint dry. Still, It was like living in a foreign country for a week. Everything different, new, somehow exciting just for the otherness of the undertaking. Having the billboard up on Pico and La Brea for two months, followed by another two months in San Francisco on 3rd Street, this provided the opportunity, when asked what had I been up to, to enter into a discussion about recycling, waste, and the environment. So even though the material billboard had a relatively short life, the billboard has had a resonating echo.